tumors, as we learned, uh, evolved various mechanisms to suppress the immune response, and this is how they evade the immune surveillance by the body. So what scientists learned is that PD-L1, PD-1 interaction is one of those mechanisms. Normal cells avoid destruction by expression of the PD-L1, which is the uh, ligand that interacts with the receptor on the uh, T and NK cells. Unfortunately, tumors also sort of usurped those mechanisms and also are capable of expressing PDL1 at the higher level. It is important, though, to select the patients for treatment with appropriate drug. And uh, since the drug is based on, on inhibiting the interaction, tumors that express a higher level of PDL1 respond better to the drugs that inhibit PD1 PDL1 interaction. We just recently launched a test which is a very exciting development at CGI and the test is specifically focused on detecting PDL1 expression on tumor cells. There are multiple drugs that are available on the market that target PD1 PDL1 interaction. Just recently FDA approved uh, Keytruda for treatment of patients with uh, non-small cell lung cancer that is metastatic. It's a great drug that improves the survival of the patients, but the effectiveness of the drug depends on targeting PDL1 on the tumor uh, cells. And so, in order to understand and in order to find the patients that respond to the drug, it's very important to measure the expression of PDL1 on the tumor surface. The unusual aspect of the selection of the patients in this case is that FDA not only approved the drug but also the method to measure PDL1 expression on the cell surface of the tumor. So this is called companion diagnostics and the test in this case specifically is called 22C3 DACO companion diagnostics for Keytruda and this is the test that CGI adopted and is offering now to the patients.